could smell with one woman and two acres, I'm going back in the greenhouse. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is plant some stuff in here to get it ready for spring. First thing I'm going to do is put tomato in here. And this is my Rutgers. As usual, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Come on, seeds. Boy, they think pretty highly of these seeds, don't they? I'll just stop there because we're looking at getting some cooler temperatures, not freezing, thank goodness, but cooler. Okay, let's stick that in there and move on to the next. I've got all this in. I have the Rutgers tomatoes, the straight eight cucumbers, the uh, super sweet tomatoes, and the California Wonder sweet pepper. And I'm going to give them all a drink and show you what else I've been up to. Down here was the Hugel culture bed that I did. I, I didn't think it would really work. I, I honestly just kind of, I did it. I about killed myself doing it, you know. But you got to see the soil. Come on down here and look at this. Now, forgive the camera work because it's, you know, yucky. But this soil was bright red clay. And yes, it's still got a lot of clay to it. But look at this. It just it falls apart. When I was digging this out, I would have huge balls of clay. And it didn't fall apart. What I did is I put some peas in here. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I mean, and I, I did it last year. I'm leaving a lot of, well, taking some of this out. <laughs> I admit, I'm taking some of this crap out. But it's coming out easily. I mean, there's nothing to it. Look at these roots. I mean, they're just pulling out easily. Of course, now I've got dirt in my shirt. Oh, well, that's what a garden's all about. <laughs> Look at that beautiful stuff. Isn't it amazing? Wow. So anyway, I got, so I have peas in here. Let me show you what else I've done. <laughs> All over in this area, I broadcast wheat berry. <laughs> All over here. And in the bed that I was waiting until fall to do anything with, I figured, why not? It's just sitting here. Probably couldn't hurt. So I decided I would just throw out some wheat berry. I want to see what happens. You know, see there's wheat berries around. <laughs> wheat berries. <laughs> Only me. I just thought, why not? I mean, I have them. Why not use them? So, I just broadcast them out there. And it's supposed to rain tonight. You never know. <laughs> if anybody can help me, I know it's you guys. What is this? It's beautiful, but I want to know what it is. <laughs> it's not like there's very much of it, but it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's being mushed by everything else around here. Well, let's see what else we can get into. You know, when it's a warm day, you just can't help yourself. You have to get out here. <laughs> 
I think this is one of the only times that Cuddles isn't trying to get in the house. Enjoying and soaking up some of that warm sunshine. One thing I've got to do is sweep out the back of my truck. Ugh, man. it was full of stuff Ugh. I put this on so that I have an extended uh, bed but if I ever have to go into town <laughs> and I have to parallel park I have to flip this up put the tailgate up <laughs> and there's no way <laughs> Once again, the chickens are into something that I've thrown on the ground. It seems everything is getting ready for spring. Even the rose bush is starting. I wish I could clean off this nasty porch, but I still have a little bit more winter to go through. Well, cool weather anyway. We need flat ground. That is not it. There. Some more water out here for the chickens. Got food. You came out of the nest with nothing? Come on. Let's reconsolidate. So that I can or centralize my compost. We all have done too good a job. Now let's get some of this over here. Some leaves. I don't need this. Whew. Better? I gotta get rid of some of this grass. <laughs> this time of year, grass ah, grows very fast. Uh, and it's difficult to get out, even in this wonderful loamy bit that I have in here because the roots are so charmingly ensconced. Let me get a tool. Excuse me, girls. Thank you. I'll pull this aside. Ow! Get out. <laughs> oh. All right, Ellen. I'm getting ready for that goat. <laughs> oh. As you can see, the grass won today. <laughs> but I got some of it out, and the chickies are enjoying it. Hi, little bud. Oodle. My little boo-boo. <sighs> well, when, uh, when you get started this spring, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> the first hint of warm weather, I mean, I went out and started doing stuff and going crazy. 
I've hurt myself. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, I've hurt myself again. <laughs> um, I have carpal tunnel. Using that hoe to do the hugel culture and make the, the row, you know, so I could plant the peas. And then using the hoe against the grass. I think that was the one that did it. Um, yeah, it started acting up. But it, I stopped before it got really bad. There's a first. And so I'm going to, um, you've been outside with mummy, haven't you? <laughs> you've got crap all over you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, I know. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, so anyway, I, I, I hurt my hand, my wrist, whatever. The, the other day, you know, I've been doing this ever since the first bit of warm weather. <laughs> um, and so I was, one evening, I'd been sitting, relaxing, no big deal. I mean, I was just kind of hanging around. And I was up on the bed crocheting and jumped out of the bed to go, I don't know, get something to drink or something. And my knee seized up. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, <laughs> wow! I, I, yeah, I, I couldn't move. <laughs> well, finally, I was able to get the, the pain subsided a little bit, and I was able to move my kneecap around. <laughs> I was able to move my kneecap around, and whatever, you know, had broken off or whatever. Anyway, it, it came out. I could walk again. It was still sore. Um, so I have that bandaged up. I had to put this on to immobilize it and then I won't use it and continue to use it and continue to hurt myself. So the first sign of it, I actually put this on. I'm so excited that I did this right. <laughs> um, so I have to stop for the day whether I like it or not. I hate that. So do as I say, not as I do. When the warm weather comes, take it easy work an hour one day and then a couple of few days and then a two hours a couple of few days and then build up don't do what I did <laughs> you end up with two or three days going I can't do anything <laughs> so with knee wrapped with arm wrapped with cat fur all over it I'm going to get something cold to drink and figure out something to do. You know, it's stupid. I can't write. <laughs> I can't crochet. I'd have to do this. That's not, that's not fun. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> um, can't chop wood. I can't even beat a cat. <laughs> you get beat a lot, don't you? Yeah, I know. Um, wow, I mean, I can't even wash a dish. I have to come up with something because I'm going to go nuts. <laughs> so, while I'm trying to figure out something to do with my knee in the air and my arm immobilized, <laughs> I'm going to bid farewell for the day. <laughs> Honestly, this has been Mel with One Woman and Two Acres. Y'all have a blessed day.